Both Mitt Romney and Barack Obama obviously very affected by what happened on Tuesday. Mitt Romney shell-shocked, devastated. Obama affected in a much more positive way. And as, he was, as of course, his victory was due in large part to his successful ground game, um, he wanted to show his thanks to them. And we have a, a very touching, very emotional video for you. Uh, even before last night's results, I felt that the work that I had done um, in running for office had come full circle. Uh, because what you guys uh, have done means that uh, the work that I'm doing is important. And I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of all of you. And, uh, And, and, and what you just said, what you guys, what you guys accomplished, uh, it will go on in the annals of history, and people will read about it and they'll marvel about it. Thank you, guys. In other words, <laughs> oh, come on. oh, come on. Oh, my God. All right, I'm playing, I'm playing. All right, listen, that's, a, of course, a very nice, touching moment. It happens after, uh, you know, really hard-fought victories. You're emotional, you're tired, and then, you know, you see the people who helped you to get there. It's a great human moment. And, you know, I'm deeply cynical about politics. That was totally real. And <laughs> he's a, it's rare that you see him do that, too. He yeah. does not wear, show his emotion very much except with a smile. I mean, you don't yeah. really see much from the president. He's actually not even good at wiping away his tears. He went the one finger away, which never works. Just well, he didn't want to like... You yeah. seem like you have a lot of practice like, in that. Well, I'm an easy cry, so... Okay, all right. Yeah, but, 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 but you don't... This isn't how He you cried during that video. I like how we're criticizing the way he wiped away his tears. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I criticized the president. Yeah, you're criticizing, there you wait, go. you're <laughs> criticizing me for criticizing the president. I can't win here. I can't win. Uh, just two quick things. Um, well, first of all, um, you know, it's right before he kind of broke down. Someone off the side said, hold it together. Hold it together, Brock. Or hold it like something. Hold it like uh -huh. it was quick and low. Something like that. Like uh -huh. I see you breaking. Don't let it go. I, I like how they have advisors for that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When and, and when not to cry. Right. And um. And man, I know we've said it before, but he is aged 15 years. I know. Yeah. So it, old it, now. It, it, it happens to every president. Yeah. W two. He came in with like, ha, ha, what are we doing here? <laughs> He's like we, a little boy. Yeah. Right? I, I, I'm gonna go on my cross country bike ride. <laughs> and then by the end, he's like gray and beat right. up, and he's like, can't wait to retire. But why, Crawford. but why does Biden look younger and better? That's true. <laughs> Goes to show you that perhaps Biden not doing as much as they claim. <laughs> a lot of yoga, yeah. I think. No, it's um, of course the stress of the presidency and stuff, and the yeah. stress of the campaign, and yeah. it has this great moment. Yeah, I, I like. I was worried coming back from that video that you were going to think that it was was made up or no, that he was overplaying no, no. it. So I'm glad that that, that you didn't. Um, yeah, I was pretty affected by that, and it's. Everybody knows that, especially for, for young voters, 2012 is not the same as 2008 was. And while I paid attention to the 2004 presidential election, 2008 was the one where I was most politically conscious for the first time, and so I was really paying attention. I was totally into Obama. I had been into him since the 2004 convention speech. And so now, not quite as excited constantly, but every once in a while he'll give a speech or, or that, like that video where I feel a little bit of that 2008 emotion again. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, he was You're, the third candidate I got to, as you know. I was a Biden guy, then a Hillary guy, and then I was like, all right, I guess I'll vote for Obama. Yeah, so. and whereas I was, uh, you know, clear-eyed, but much more hopeful about Obama yeah. in 08. You know, I talked about his weak Senate record. His mentor was Joe Lieberman in the Senate. <laughs> there was red flags, right? Yeah. And, and look, if they're asking me to be cynical, so I'll do one comment here that's mm. cynical, which is, uh, I believe him completely that it was genuine tears and that he cares deeply about those guys who helped him win. Uh, that doesn't mean he's going to do yeah. what he told him, right, and what those people want. He's still going to do what he wants to do, which is the grand bargain, right. and we've gone over how much I dislike the, the grand bargain and how unprogressive it is and how if you put it to a vote in his volunteers and explain to him what's in that program, they would probably despise it. Yeah. Keeping it real. So the eyes tear, but the heart doesn't bleed. <laughs> yeah, interesting. No, if you want to do a crying analogy, what's going to happen is after he signs the grand bargain, they're, they're going to be crying. <laughs>